Happy Wednesday, crafty friends. I'm coming on today with Cool Treasures Part 1. Okay. So, let me give you a little history about some stuff first. So, my daddy's daddy um, only made it through the sixth grade. And then he was a self-taught, he could do anything. He had a photography studio. He worked on radios. He had a radio repair shop. He uh, could repair bicycles. Um, and, you know, he made a living that way with a sixth grade education. So, with that being said, um, I, and I think I've told y'all before, I have his camera that's... Um, a wooden camera with a brass lens, the kind that you look down into, and it's got a big accordion, um, uh, I forget what you call it. Anyway, it's on a wooden tripod, and it's so cool, and it's part of my home decor. But um, anyway, so, so we've slowly been finding all these bits and pieces of things, you know, and I showed you once before... Um, some oils that were used to colorize the pictures because this was a uh, you know in the in the 30s and 40s and I mean he continued to work and make pictures but you know a lot of this stuff is from then so I found this box of colored pencils and look they were hardly used and but I'm so excited I mean Long fiber cotton solution, even though it doesn't say what that solution is. It's probably probably something like Gamsol, I don't know. Um, who knows? So I, these are photo pencils. So they're to color, you know, pictures, and which I will show you some pictures. Of course, he made pictures of my dad, but in his studio, he had... Sometimes people would bring film to be developed. He would develop pictures also. And he had a dark room um, at their house. It was a little house out back. And um, and sometimes people wouldn't pick their pictures up. And so I I have some pictures of, of people that I'll show in another video. And, man, if I could only contact some of these people's relatives. It, oh, you know, I'm probably going to make it my mission to try and do that because some of these pictures, are, I mean, any of them to me would be treasures to have, you know. So anyway, there's that. And then here's some brayers that he used. And so the handles are, I mean, these things are heavy. Look at the handle on this one. That's like a cast iron handle. Isn't that cool? Um, so there's two things. And then check this light bulb out. This was to, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. This was to, this was like a filter. You know how we do these days? <laughs> Get rid of those wrinkles, blur out the lines. Is that not amazing? I'd never seen anything like that before. So I thought that was so cool to put with that. And um, here's some turquoise drawing leads. This was 10 cents from the Eagle Pencil Company, and it's just the leads that he put in a pencil, but look how big around that lead is. Isn't that cool? And then, so this this camera, uh, uh, you're probably not gonna be able to see that. Maybe you can tell, no. So this is a glass, um, This is glass, and this is metal, and this is a negative, and it's of my daddy's dog, Shorty, and it was made August 1934, and, uh, let's see, can you see that? I can see it. I don't know if y'all can or not. Anyway, it was a little white dog, so I thought that was so cool. Okay, let's see, uh, and I know this is a nasty cigar box, but look. Two for five cents. How cool. I'm going to try to knock some of that nasty out of the bottom. But, you know, this is a treasure box. So, 
Sometimes treasure boxes have dirty stuff in them. Wah! Okay, so there's that. Now, here's some more camera stuff. So, um, this is another cigar box. These are two for 15 cents. They got high and mighty real quick, didn't they? So, this was for a lens. Um, you see, everything's wood and... Okay, check this out. This was... You could put this over your lens and the depth that it went... Let's see if I can do it like this. So, you could make it cast a shadow on the picture uh, and, and it would... It could either make a sharp line or it could blur it out depending on how close it was or how far away. So, I've got those. Here's a rounded square. There's a broken piece of glass. Here is a... Um, this is what a slide actually fits down in. This is a cutter. Look at that. This would give a different effect. It's a lens and it's glass. Oh, there's some pictures in here and I hadn't seen these. I hadn't got down this far into the box. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see. We'll investigate together. I really don't need all these pencils. <laughs> but, you know. Oh. Oh, it's full of pencils. Oh, it's a it's a little girl. Or I don't know if it's a little girl or not. They dress in sitting. And it looks like she was probably sitting in this high chair and he'd cut it out to do something with it. I don't know what. And I guess that's like a wallet. That's a bottle opener. Huh. You know, here's a prime example of never throwing anything away. Let me see if that is. No. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, like I said, my granddaddy was self-taught. And, and look, that's brass. And he could do anything. I mean, anything. And uh, fix anything, work on anything, you know. And um, my grandmother was the one that, that always... Was she could she could take a dead stick and bring it to life, you know? But look what I found. I found a first place blue ribbon for the Tennessee State Fair in Nashville in 1967, where he won for Marigold Variegations. Uh, how cool is that? And I never knew this in 1967. I was six. So, I didn't know. Okay, so, while my granddaddy was self-employed, my grandmother worked at Kroger for a million years and retired from Kroger. And look, I found her badge. My maiden name is Stem, and her name was Gertrude, not Gertrude. And she would correct you in a heartbeat if you put a D in her name. <laughs> so, I thought that was awesome. Um, I have tons of Kodak Vintage Kodak stuff. And it's all in these bright yellow boxes. This is an etching knife. Let me see if I can get the end of it open without tearing the box up. Yeah. So, that's what that looks like. As a Bakelite handle. And I guess you would just... Like the picture of the little girl. If you were going around it, you know. You would trim it. Make it make you make yourself a real tight, um, nice line. Check this out. This is a flashlight, of course, and this bulb. And I haven't put batteries in it yet to see if it works, but I feel like it probably will. This flashed while you were holding it because he took the batteries out. Look how good, good and clean it is on the inside, and the wires are all still attached, so I'm sure it works. And it takes, it uh, looks like D batteries. That's so cool. But you just held it, you know. Very cool. 
All right, and so here's my mom's knee brace. And this will be the last thing that I'll show today. Okay, so my mom played basketball in high school. And um, and I also have the, the pictures, the annuals, and I'll, I'll show those some other time. Um, but anyway, she hurt her knee, and this was her knee brace, y'all. Now, it's leather. You know, it's covered with uh, cotton. And on the inside, it's metal. It has a hinge right there. Can you imagine? Strapping this thing on. It's for her left knee. It was a medium. You know, it's laced on that side. Then you laced it on this side to fit right. And then you ran up and down the court in that bad boy. And it's heavy. It probably weighs three pounds. You know. So... This thing could only talk, you know? <laughs> and I told my mom when um, I went and saw her this weekend, I said, I found your knee brace for when you played basketball. And she said, my knee brace? And I said, she, she doesn't remember a lot of things anymore. But anyway, she did. She seemed to remember it, but she did not remember that it was at the house. So, that was pretty cool. And I told her, I said, I saved it. She said, you did? And I said, yeah, I did. I said, I had to. So, anyway, there's a little a little bit of my um, family history and uh, a little bit of cool stuff that I found. And I'll be, um, I'll come back with a lot of other stuff. Now, I told you that my granddaddy worked on radios. I have a laundry basket full of old tubes half of them are still in the boxes and um i know that that people now search for these tubes so i'm trying to make a list and um if you know anybody that that is in need of uh radio tubes i'm gonna i, I may put them on ebay i don't know but anyway i know they're you know, for what they are, they're they're valuable, and people want them, and um, and we'll you know use it use the money to help take care of my mom. So anyway, that's part one. I got lots and lots of stuff. If you're if you love old stuff, you'll love watching these because uh, they're so cool. I think anyway. All right, till next time. Love you guys. Look for treasures. Blessings.